Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing Texas Smoke Prime Rib. This is where my passion truly lies in low and slow barbecue, Texas barbecue. So let's talk about the meat. Where does it come from? This cut of meat comes between the 6th and the 12th rib on the cow, and it can consist up to 7 bones. And the roast that we've got here today has all 7 bones in it, which is cool. And we're also cooking a USDA Prime Prime Rib. So when you're picking out your meat, you want to look for really good marbling and a fat cap right on the outside there. Real important, marbling and that little extra cap on the outside of the ribeye. Bigger the better. It's the most tender part of the meat. So seasoning it up. As it's coming to room temperature, go ahead and liberally salt and pepper your meat and let it sit out as it's coming up to room temperature. It's going to take about 45 minutes for this large of a cut. Most of them are usually four to five bones, which won't take quite as long, but you can tell if it has a chill on it or not. So olive oil, you can use peanut oil. Just get an oil on the outside because it's going to really help develop the bark. It's going to make it look really beautiful when it comes off of the pit. So don't skip that step, please. So cover every little inch of it. Both ends too. It's easy to forget the ends. And we did use olive oil here. And then we're going to season it up even a little bit more. So putting on some extra sea salt. We used some Himalayan sea salt here, which has just got all kinds of good stuff in it. You can't buy better than Himalayan sea salt. You can get that at like Whole Foods and places like that, especially supermarkets. Keep an eye out for it. So that's a multihete. He sit there that's got herbs de Provence in it or Italian seasoning. The, the multihete there just opens up all the oils and brings out the flavors and the perfumes and all the good stuff you get from those herbs. So be sure to cover it pretty liberally. You don't have to go crazy with the herbs de Provence. Off the smoker, our smoker is at 300 degrees to start and throughout the cook, it stayed right at 275. We're not doing brisket. We're not doing the super low and slow. We're not doing pork butt, which is really closer to 225. This is a big, huge steak. So we're going to do it higher. That's why we're at 275. And if you stayed at 300, that'd be fine too. So that's the smaller end. Make sure when you put it on your pit, the smaller end is away from your heat source. And underneath there, we've got two water pans. It just adds extra moisture and helps protect your meat during the cook. All right. It took four hours for us, but we had a seven bone. So that's something to consider and you need a meat thermometer. So let's see how this turned out for us. It's our buddy Ron there. He's looking happy. He owns the place. Really great guy. My barbecue buddy. All right, seven bone roast coming off. Now see the bark there, see that beautiful color? That was definitely in part from obviously the smoke, but you need that oil on the outside and that helps that beautifulness happen. It's the magic. Really not a hard process here. You just gotta do step A, B, C, D and everything's gonna be great. 123 to 125 is gonna give you medium rare. Please don't overcook that. That is what this is supposed to be is medium rare. If you don't like medium rare, eh, you might just cook steak. <laughs> So the next most important step is allowing it to rest. You've got to allow it to rest for all those juices to reabsorb and go everywhere. And there you guys go. You've got a beautiful prime rib, tender, juicy, wonderful. Come join us on social media. I'd love to have you guys. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. We're going to have a Herma recipe card on the website with all the instructions. And you guys have the best. Take care.